what's up um we're gonna layer some cups real quick and then i'll i'll tell you why cups little bitty cups ain't they cute all right we've got colors out the wazooty what's that that goes over there this i don't know about this i'm not sold on it we'll keep it anyway and okay <laughs> here's what we're doing <sighs> because i have my oh crap because i have my puppy pool actually set up which is fairly rare actually it's very rare i never set that thing up um I have decided that I'm going to use it a few times and do some things. Um, this thing is going to be a kiss pour. Um, so yeah, let's just let me let me just do this, and then we'll we'll yap a little. I just don't want the white of the canvas to show through is all. Um, if I had any sense, I'd have done this with a foam brush, wouldn't I? Mm -hmm. Yeah, kill you woulda. But I didn't, did I? No. Doesn't mean I can't start now. I like, hi! <laughs> I like doing this with foam brushes because they're really easy to get the the very top edge right here with without making a big to do of it because um, if you get in too far um, people have complained that they get um, like lines underneath their actual paint that they're using so I keep mooching out of the frame here anyway we don't want to do that we don't want to get out of we don't want stuff showing that we don't want showing so i'm just gonna i don't want the white showing through but by the same token i don't want this crazy line of some other color showing through either so we'll just put this on here right quickly um You know, I would love to be able to tell you what color this is. I really would. Um, it's several colors mixed together. <laughs> That's what I know. Do I know what they are? Not necessarily. I think I just saw a huge booger though. Where did it go? Is it in there? Maybe not. We'll see. We'll see if we find it. Here we go. How exciting. Another painting.
Now, if you don't remember what a kiss pour is, the cups kiss, the paint kisses as you pour it. Maybe we can do this right. Okay, here we go, kiss pour. So tell me you miss it Or tell me just how it is That you're someone else's First tell me you love it Lay in your arms Then call it Tennessee It's the world Man, I'm not surprised I really thought that To wreck or not to wreck, I am not a wrecker. I'm just not. What do you think? Should we wreck it? That's like breaking my own rules. Oh yeah, I just said I wasn't playing by the rules. Skinny, skinny, skewers. Oh god, blah, blah, blah. makes me nervous. Okay, here we go. That's probably a cheat because most of that'll probably go off the edge. I, I, I wrecked it. I mean, I'll pick your jaw up off the ground. <laughs> All right. Here, well, I'm going to spin it. Let's do it. Whee! Not going to go in for the Olympic level spinning, I don't think. is going to be a bear to clean up. Yuck. All right, let's torch your torch. This reminds me of something. I don't know what. It, the colors are like, you ever look at colors and like get almost like a visceral reaction like it brings back such a strong memory that you almost can like access a smell or a taste that happens to me anyway i don't know whether that's a thing or but it really does really really strongly happen to me okay and here are our dried results from our kiss pour this is on a little eight by eight. Um, these colors are very genteel seeming. Um, I think that my great grandmother, my Mimo, ha 
add a dress with these colors in it. Because every time I look at it, or every time I looked at it the first few minutes after it was spun out, she was the first thing that hit my head. Mimo. She must have had a dress. Anyway, we've got some little cells happening. Look, they're teeny. They're so cute. Um, now, this is mostly, these paints that I've been using have mostly been the ones that are mixed with the acrylic polymer um, medium. And there's not a lot of cells going on here. There's also a lot of Floetrol in it, but I don't know. There's just not a lot of cells. These paints were pretty thin. Uh, I don't know. I really like them. I like that I wrecked it. I'm glad that I don't wreck very many things because I really enjoy it when I do. Oh, look, there's a, there's an N. Where's my hand? Where's my, there it is. Do you see that N? My Mima's last name was Norris. Ha ha ha. Speaking beyond the grave, maybe. I don't know, that's cool though. Anyway, there's my little kissy. And I will get back with dried results. And here are the dried results of my little uh, wrecked 8x8 eight eight kiss pour. Um, it's got some really nice lines. I dig them. Um, not being one to wreck. I think I picked a good one to wreck. I think it looks really cool with the lines. Note the fairly absence, fair absence of cells. There is that in for my, my Mima. <laughs> I really like it. I think it's cute. I'll probably make something else to go with it since 8x8s eight eight stand alone very poorly because they're so small. But I think this one could definitely stand alone and take the stage. So thanks y'all for watching. Have a good one. Okay, we're back again. Let's do another little 8x8 to go with our 8x8 from the other day. This one's going to be not quite the same, but I think they'll go together okay. Okay, I have a cup layered with our usual suspects of grayish blue, Amsterdam grayish blue, Pebio silver, um, Arteza pearl, ocean blue, and some vague idea of dark blue. <laughs> um, a little of the chroma curl white in here, so I'm just gonna do this little ring pour. And we're gonna see what we get. No, I wasn't the one, but I gave it all I've got. When all is said and done, when all is said and done, we went head first into the waves. We were right there in the eye of the storm. When I 
too close to the sun Maybe in another life We could have worked it out But we got too close to the sun the wet results of my little straight pour <laughs> isn't it strange it looks more like a ring pour but I did a little bitty ring in the middle but not that much but it just stretched out a lot and that cloud mix went to clouding actually it's not even cloud mix that's just chroma curl white <laughs> but look at that little scalloped edge isn't that strange anyway um turned out to be mostly purple and white <laughs> which is fine. Um, it's cute. Uh, that's all I have to say about it really is it's a little straight pour that looks like a little ring pour and there you go. That. Hey there, it is super dreary outside. Here are the dry results of my straight pour, which I finished with a ring pour then spun and now it's just a ring pour. It's cute. Um, Nice little wavy lines, um, little bitty white cells, little bitty purple cells. It really does have a nice shimmer to it. It looks like we might have gotten some cloud effect in here from the Chroma Curl White. It is shimmery, but unfortunately, it is not shimmery outside. <laughs> it is dreary outside and you can't see anything of the shimmer. I hate that. Anyway, <laughs> there it is. It's cute. It's plain. It's whatever it is, it is. And here are our two sister pieces made with the same colors, oddly enough, but in different applications. Um, you can see a little bit of all the colors <laughs> in, in the one on the left, but the one on the right, hmm, not so much, but a little bit. Anyway, there they are. Thanks for watching. <laughs>